Come on now, people. I've been telling you for almost two years now, you need to have a GNR TV. And now sports are back. Football is back. Now is the perfect time for you to get this if you don't have it already. And if you look on over here, as I've been telling you before, you get all these amazing channels, every single one of them, for $20 a month for two devices. And if you look on up over here, it's written. It's written everything you get with GNR TV. If you want four devices, $40. And there's some cool extras right here. GNR TV, streaming done right. If you don't have it, get it. What more can I say? What more can I say? It's time to cut the damn cord, stop being ripped off by the dish and cable, and get this lovely thing we call GNR TV. Streaming done right. Let's get slicing and dicing with Sir Sturdy Horror fans. On this podcast, you will hear me and a guest do some movie reviews, random funny horror chats, and whatever else comes to mind. So tune in, kick back, relax, and always remember, I'll see you in your nightmares. Well, this station's mask. What's up, people? So me and James... We were just having a conversation. What's up, James? And James called me a narcissist. He just wanted to call me some sort of (laughs) N-word. That's the closest I can get, I guess. (laughs) Before you jump out of the and get all upset about this, James is far from fucking racist. But, yeah. So, anyways, narcissist. He called me that because with the Zoom view thing, you could do, like, a gallery view or it's, like, a side-by-side. And then you could – or you could do – you know, the speaker view, which is, you know, the full thing. He said he does the one where I guess I'm just, I'm blown up, you said? Yeah, and I, I'm a little square up on top of the screen. See, and me. Like in the center way up on top. Okay. And me, I have it, so it's, I just change it, because usually all of my other episodes you guys seen that I put out is usually like the whole, if I'm speaking, you know, it's the side by side or four four corners, whatever, but I think I really like the speaker view. I think I like the speaker view a lot, actually, and I think this is going to be my new thing on Jigger for for the time being, at least. I'm not sure if you guys can see, like, this little box over here to my right where I'm on. Yeah, you see me on top and James not on top. Oh, this over here, though. But I barely see you. You got your picture up in the sky, so you're, like, blending in. What do you mean? Are you up on the top left? In the, in uh, above the axe. Well, let oh, my yeah, left. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're bl- you're bl- you're blending into the night sky, and no, that's not a racist joke either, people. No, what, what is it? <laughs> I did that. Yeah, I did that on purpose. Oh, okay. Because like I just picked that picture on purpose because it was my um. What it is? It's the it balloon. And you. Can oh, kind of see, makes like, sense now. You can only see the, this part of my face, kind of. So it's creepy. Okay, makes sense now. And it's, the dark, and, no one in the in dark. my picture, I took that literally like two minutes ago. He did. In the light. And I'll, I'll, I'll get a new one. I'll get a better one. <laughs> we got I've, I, I've seen another podcast do this for their show sometimes. I think it's funny. I had the, And, of course, you have to keep the late, great Donald Pleasance, Pleasance in the middle. Like, I couldn't cover his face with either one of our faces. I would have been I'm part of the cover. I was in this movie. <laughs> it's true. He huh. was. So, I guess I'm a narcissist in a way because... The thing was, I like seeing myself with on the big screen. James doesn't like seeing himself too much. Okay, so I got it mixed up. I think. What happened? So I have the original. Um, I have the view where it's blown up. I just see you. So I don't know what view that is. I was talking about the side by side. Yeah, you can do that. I can't do that because I can't look at myself talking that uh, big. So that's where I mixed up. I can. I or you can't. You can't. You can't by choice, or you can't because you don't want to. I don't want to because it's uh, distracting. Because I end up looking at myself instead of like I'm like face to face with you talking. I yeah. end up looking at myself talking to myself. I mean, hey man, us. Some people talk to themselves in the mirror. You know, in the morning, like yo, Aaron, today's gonna be an awesome day. 
make sure you uh, eat and drink some water and brush your teeth and wash both of your hands. You know, stuff like that. Hey, I'm not saying. I talk to myself, too. It's just, I, I think if you look in a mirror and talk to yourself, that's admitting that you're crazy. So I avoid it. What about in the camera? Is that the same? Dude, I'm never on camera except for your podcast. Well, me, I'm on camera for the podcast and for when I do the videos. When I do the yeah, video, I don't. when I do those videos like the unboxing and stuff, technically I'm talking to myself, but in my mind I'm talking to all the future viewers. Technically, that's true. Um, and I, and I used to not be able to do that. Oh, I, I I was in a college class and one of the projects was I had a I wrote a paper on UFC coming to New York. Like talking about like how much money will come in and all that, mm-hmm. and I couldn't record it because I had to pre-record it and then submit it onto the site for all the other classmates to watch it and grade it. I couldn't do it. I they, I was getting so mad talking to myself. I did it over and over again. I'm yelling because someone made noise outside my room. I'll yell. I'll say, "Shut the hell up! I'm doing something," right? And I because I I got stage fright, oh, I and I know someone's gonna watch it. So I kind of got over that because of your podcast. Remember, I was so hesitant in the beginning you to were. do your podcast. You were, and before it was just audio, like yeah, that's just audio before. You were yeah, on one time audio and then visual. You were on a bunch of fucking times. But, yeah, excuse me, I do get it though. I do get it one hundred percent because like I was like that to an extent, especially in like my, my school years. But I think it was more of when they have you doing certain projects for the mo- for the most part. And have you doing certain like research papers where they want you to read or like you know evaluate something in the front of the class? For the most part, again, not all the time. For the most part, in my experience, I'll say so. For the most part, in my experience, I won't speak for everybody. The subject was something I wasn't really interested in, so I didn't really take it to that. You know what I mean? So I didn't really want to do it. I didn't really care as much. Versus if it was something I was really interested in, I'd probably take it, take it more serious. At least I'd think like to think I'd take it more serious. I mean, yeah. you could look at me now, like, as far as that shit goes, if they're talking about, like, a horror platform and stuff, and, like, uh, or, sorry, like, a, um, what do you call those things? You know, when you're up on up on stage in front of people talking? The panel. Thank you. I've done this shit so many times. <laughs> the panel, like, panels? That's, that's, I'm not going to say I, I always know what to say, but it seems, it's, like, easy to me. Like, if, I'll give you an example, man. Like, if, if they had, like, a horror-type panel at our job, to where I had to present something or whatever the case may be. I'm just saying, I know we don't work anything with horror, but I'm just giving you an example. In front of that whole building, I'd be able to do it, no problem. Not me. And that's like 2,000 people. I know that for some people, that's not a big crowd at all, but I just feel like I can do it with no problem. Even more so if I have at least, I'll say one to two other people up there that are horror fans or just, even if it's just like a random horror conversation or... I could probably do a group like for that. Like if something I know like horror, like we do with the podcast. Because I know there's a one person like you, you'll probably lead. Mm-hmm. And I would just give comments here and there. But like, if it's just me, like I had to present most of it, uh, I'm not down with it. I like you. It. It's, it's easy. See, with that though, man, I mean, like, it's easier than you think because it's something that you're interested in. It's something that you're passionate about, at least, again, for myself. Like, I'm really passionate about horror. I'm really passionate about the podcast and stuff. So it's it comes easy. To an extent, I'm not going to say it's simple, you know what to say, it's fucking peaches and cream or hot dogs and beans, whatever the saying is. Well, I'll give you another example I can't do either, because I'm not a big people person. I don't like people. So then you'll have, like, say, for example, say we're at a um, horror con, mm-hmm. and I'm up on a panel, and you go, let's ask questions. Then you got that one person in the audience, their first horror con they ever went to, and they're like, oh, I like that movie. So say we were doing Friday the 13th. They're like, yeah. I like Mike Myers. I will go down there and strangle and slap the shit out of him. No, you, you just have to, <laughs> you can't. I'm like, for one, you don't know who the fuck the main character is by now? Yeah. So you come out with 10 million of these movies, even this, these days? Come on. With, with that, though, man, you have to be patient with people because you have to, uh, like, there's different levels of horror fans. Everybody that's a horror fan is a horror fan. I'm not going to say you're not a big horror fan because you only watch because you don't watch like low lower budget movies. You only watch the Hollywood movies. You're a horror fan if you're if you like horror if you love horror. You're a horror fan. Simple as that. All across the board, no matter how much you watch it, no matter how deep you get into it, you're a fan. There's some fans that are 
maybe a bigger fan than you are or put more into it than you do as far as their passion, but you're still a fan. But you got to just correct them. Like, yeah, listen, listen, you're getting that mixed up. Michael Myers is Halloween. Friday the 13th is Jason. Now, if they try to correct you after you correct them and you know you're correct, <laughs> you're wrong, <laughs> I'll throw a chair. That's when it's like, okay, you know what? No, you don't have to throw a chair because the thing was, situations like that, somebody would say something because there's other knowledge, very, very knowledgeable horror fans at these cons that'll be listening. Oh, that's true. That's right. The, the other people in the audience will whoop their ass. <laughs> or, or drag them out or, like bouncers. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> or I would be like, listen, dude, ask Alexa. Alexa, what movie was Jason Voorhees in? Jason Voorhees is featured in Freddy vs. Jason with Kim Kersinger. Friday the 13th with Derek Mears. The angry video game nerd with James Ross. Hey, hey, no, enough, 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 enough. Damn. It's funny that it started with the Jason versus Freddy. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed in that, but... Right. That's sad that's, uh, shit. You think it'll start from the original, at least? Technically. Actually, you know what? He was in part one at the end, so I can't even say technically part two. He was... Actually, there's two movies he wasn't in. Which ones? He was in part one. At the very end, when he pulls his mother into the boat. And part five, technically, technically, technically... And Tommy's like um, his dream sequences or like his uh, daydreams. Okay, and let me take it back. There's two of them. He wasn't the killer. He wasn't the main. Yes, that, yes. You could definitely say that. You could yeah. definitely say that. But if you, I mean, if you a like, lot of people, a lot of people don't know that. They always, if they guess it, they always think it's the first one. No, they forget about the other one. That was his mama. Yep. Did you like part five? I know we're supposed to be talking about. Yeah. We'll get to that in a minute. I like them all, honestly. Jason X, the story plot, I didn't really like, but I like the kills. I like I like the girl's face shattering. Oh yeah. And I like where they did the hologram of the camp where he's taking the sleeping bag and slamming her against the tree oh, over and over again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was dying. I but he was just like dumbfounded. He was like, "What the fuck is going on? <laughs> this right. bitch won't die." <laughs> You're right. You're fucking right. About and he, I'm not gonna lie, he did look badass, robotic looking, the nanotech shit. Yo, that would be like the worst shit ever. Just imagine whooping Jason's ass, and then he falls into something that just fucking not only regenerates him, but regenerates him stronger than he's ever fucking been. <laughs> like, yo, and he's strong in the beginning, man. Yeah. Now you got that. Oh, he was like, he was cool looking. I'm not going to lie. Now, The Mask. I remember that movie came out, and they started selling in stores for Halloween. Mm-hmm. I, I'll still pick the original. Oh, yeah. The original I'll- Mask, I have to, it's like the best one. Pink. I. I can't do it. Even though it was cool in the movie, I wouldn't buy the mask. I would. I'm not gonna lie. I would buy the mask to have but, it, but yeah. the, like for Halloween, I would do the original. Same here. Actually, would you like better the red marks or the blue? Red. The red. Yeah, me too. My, my favorite one overall is Friday the Thirteenth Part Seven. That includes the movie and just the look of Jason. And I'll even throw in the mask because I like how like this part of it. You the burnt. But no, it's like broken down here by his face. Oh, it's the broken where you see his teeth? His yeah. His face kind of? Yep. I thought that was awesome. I thought that was awesome. From, And it's just... I'm not going to lie. I even like the sack version before the mask. Oh, me too. I really do. It's, it gives it like a different kind of creepy, eerie look. Yep. And... And there's a movie that ripped that off, by the way. Did it rip it off or did Jason rip it off? I'm not 100% sure, but... Um, you know what? I, th- I thought it came after Jason. But it was... um. Oh, fuck. fuck, what was that movie called? I'm not sure, but I know what you're talking about. Hey, you least, know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I can't think of it. I know, I, and I feel like I've seen it at least once. Yep, me too. I feel like I've seen uh, it. Oh, I forgot the title. It's going to drive me nuts now. Damn it. I hate doing that. I do that all the time. I think of something. I don't even know the damn name of it. I would ask Alexa, but she she don't know. No, you can't know. Don't say anything with a sack over her face. You have FBI come in, then you're fucking trying to kidnap women or something. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what she knows. Alexa. What horror movie had a sack head killer? Sorry, I don't know that. Of but course. You horror movie quiz enabled. Do you want to open it? No, I want you to shut your damn mouth because you need my damn question. That's what I want you to do. <laughs> shut up. Useless. Anyway. Yeah, she has her moments. She does. So, Alone in the Dark. Alone in the Dark. 1982. Let me see something. Alexa. Give me a synopsis on Alone in the Dark 1982 horror movie. Alone in the Dark is a 2005 action. No, 
Christian. Shut up. Wrong one. That's the 2008 or 5 Alexa, one, I think. Stop. Alone, Alexa. Alone in the Dark, 1982. Mm -hmm. nah, you broke it. <laughs> She's stupid. She was like, I wasn't there. I wasn't born in 82. <laughs> well, All right. I'm going to tell you guys what. This is, I'm, we're going to get into this movie, but Alexa, I'm letting you guys know. I'm, Alexa, I have a Google. Yeah, you ain't got nothing to say about that. And you might be replaced by the Google thing. I'm going to mess with that maybe sometime next week or during the week, kind of bring that up here and see which one works better. Maybe I'll have you both hooked up. Hey, I'm sure, you know, honestly, probably the Google probably <laughs> works better. I'm not going to lie. I go to Google for everything. Mm -hmm. Alexa's been wrong on the weather lately. I go, hey, what's the weather? It likes connecting, partly cloudy, 83. I love how my window is pouring. Yep. I wasn't talking to you, Alexa. Mine just went off because I said it. Alexa, shut up. <laughs> See, people, they just be arguing with their Alexa. I, like I said, I said this before in a podcast. My it's, wife yells at me because I call her a bitch and shit. Don't talk to her like that. <laughs> you know what's funny is Thursday, midnight, third, well, midnight, whatever that day, I was recording with the Nightmare Shop, my brother Henry, and my boy Matt, and I had my Alexa, and I said Alexa, and my brother had his Alexa in the background so they could pick up me saying Alexa, and I would, it would answer the question I'm asking my Alexa, and it was just hilarious. Like, it uh. would be, like you'd hear, like, Alexa, blah, 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 blah. And then Alexa, blah, 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 blah. That's what's good because I have a headphone in, the earbud, so I didn't hear you saying it because you said it like 10,000 times already. But when I was saying it, mine hears me. Same And same here with me, my, my headset. Yeah. But, um, anyway, Alone in the Dark from 1982. I, um, this is like my second time watching the movie. I watched it for... I think this is my first time, actually. A podcast idea earlier this year, I believe, and it was like because it's a home invasion movie, so we're just like just like a brief talk of home invasion horror movies, and this was one that came up. So I rewatched it again today, and I have to say I enjoy it. Like I like the aspect of them coming from, for better lack of term, and this is what they called it then was like an you know you can call it a mental hospital or, or an insane asylum. The people that can't, the, the you know the people that were killing. I like that fact of that. I, like, I really do like that. Yeah. Like, people that had something going on in their minds and they just came out and went to people's houses. Was it they, now they went to multiple houses, right? Houses. No, no, oh. it was just the one. Oh shit. Okay. 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 So the reason was, so I'll do a quick recap here. So the old doctor that was working there got a new job in Philadelphia. So the new guy that came in, um, he was running that they're like the main guy. He was, he, for one, the main dude that owns it should be one of the patients. <laughs> he was out there, but he was like, he talk, he calls them different. He don't call them, uh, like crazy or nothing. He calls them like they're on their journey or something, mm -hmm. but there's a third floor. That's where they have these four. Is it four? Yeah. Four people who killed or there was a child molester, the big, uh, heavy set one. Um, so they were all messed up, but they were locked down by just electric, like the doors locked by electric locks. Yeah. So the main guy goes up there, and he, the the owner introduces him. So the one leader dude, I think his name is Hawk or something like that, Colonel, mm -hmm. something like that. In his mind, he gets delusions that he thinks that doctor killed the old doctor to take the spot. Yeah. So they're like, he's going to kill us next, so we have to kill him first. And they're like, how are we going to do that? We can't get out. He said, we'll buy our time. There'll be a day. And all of a sudden, a blackout happens. And the doors, the electric locks don't lock. And that's how they get out of the place. And they got the address from him, from the office, that they went to kill, try to kill him. Point. That's right. That's right. I forgot about the whole that, Everybody else was, everybody else was like bonus. It was only like a few others, like in the beginning, like when they escaped. No, when they yeah, when they escaped, they killed the uh, night watchman. Mm -hmm. Then um, the guy in the parking lot when they got clothes and weapons, they took his van. That one took the hook, like the um, the garden rake. Yeah, and like gutted him with it. Like, yeah. With the so basically that's what it is. They weren't out there to like kill, like everybody, like go to multiple houses and kill. Their their main. Goal was to get to that doctor. I like the fake uh, the 
the fake Jason mask thing too. Yeah, yo, I <laughs> that's the first thing I said when I seen. It. I was like, as soon as he was like in a hockey gear, I was like, this dude's gonna gonna rip off Jason. Uh huh. Is the goalie's helmet? Yeah. Like the uh, the more modern one where it's like the whole casing. It's not yeah. just a instead of just a flat face. Yeah. Face. For that move, for this movie, Alone in the Dark, the that casing one worked just like for Friday the Thirteenth. The the regular, you know, the flat mask worked. We had the whole that worked in this movie also because the one, the bleeder, they didn't show his face through the whole movie, and he oh. was that dude. You're right. That was helping him in the house. Yes, because at the towards the end when he's he's wrangling the uh, the sister. No, he was hugging. They were hugging at first. She like had her head up against his chest. Yeah, and he started bleeding. His, his nose started bleeding. It was getting like on her face, and she was she didn't really realize it until her mother turned the light on her, turned the flashlight on. Her. Yeah, and that's when she was like, she seen the guy's nose bleeding, and he started choking her. Yeah, that's what happens. Like he gets like aroused, and I guess he snaps, and he just wants to kill that person. Well, so he started choking her. But that was a twist. Look, I didn't expect it. Like I thought he just ran off. Like that dude didn't get in the van; he just took off. Mm -hmm. I was like, "Oh shit!" That surprised me. I was like, "Oh, that's pretty cool twist right there." That yeah, that's awesome. And like, I I like that part, and I like the um, I like how when the guy first came, one of the um, he was like the head, the lead guy, or he was either lead or second in command. I think he was the lead guy though. Oh, you're talking about the um, the uh, the preacher? No, not not him. Not that was Loomis, right? No, that was Byron. Byron, Byron is the priest who sets shit on fire. It's okay now. I correct me if I'm wrong. Is he the one that came to their house at first and said he had something to give? To he them? has the telegram. The telegram. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's him. I like that part with the whole telegram. Thing. And he looks familiar. Part of me feels like an older version of him played the main character of Phantasm. I think he did. My wife said the same thing. She's like, "Is that the guy from the Phantasm movies?" I told. I said, "I'm not sure. He could be. I'm not sure. I've never, I've never watched those movies. So I don't know." Oh, that, you gotta watch them, man. Phantasm is a good fucking franchise. I like it. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Maybe once we get this list knocked off, we can work on that next. Hey, okay, we can because I like that. I I don't. I won't mind watching that shit again. I've never seen it, so it'd be a that was like one of the good ones I watched when I was younger. I liked it. I don't know yeah. how many people out there are actually seen it. Comment. How many people see Phantasm? Yeah, I, and you know what's crazy though? What's cool though is that um. That whole cast was the past Scarecons in this past October last year. That whole the, the cast was there. The ones that are still living, at least. Nice. Which is pretty cool. But yeah, back to this movie, man. Like, I really did enjoy it. And honestly, if I if this was my first time watched today, but it's not. Like I said, I watched it earlier this year, I believe. Oh, yeah. That's right. You'll be on your list. This would be on my list of the top 10 movies. Just because I do have a new bottom 10, though. Um, the movie's called... Funhouse Massacre, I believe. It's either Funhouse Ma no, not Funhouse Massacre. It's called either Funhouse or The Funhouse. Really? I wasn't, a, I wasn't a huge, huge fan of it. It's like an 80s based carnival type movie. I'm not going to get too okay. into it. But, but uh, I just wish more happened as far as the deaths and I wish I showed more kills in it. Kind of, something like that. Like It was. A little, it should have been crazier than what it was as far as the mm. dying goes in the movie. But um, back to this, this would have definitely made it. I really did enjoy this movie. And I like how just I just like you know one big thing I liked about this movie is it's a home invasion movie, right? But it takes place at night, and I feel yes. that's like, the whole blackout. And it was like yeah, yeah, that that and like where they lived was kind of like secluded. It was like in a nice neighborhood, but it was like secluded, like in the country, like a country type area. Yeah, no neighbors. It was like woods. And I like that just for the you know for the way it was all set up. Yeah, and it just. It brings more of, I'm not going to say I was scared of the movie because I wasn't, but it brings more of like a scary factor, or like a creepy factor when obviously a home invasion, for the type of movie, so say a home invasion and it's in a secluded area versus say like in a fucking city where you have your your neighbors are right next door to each other. They're going to hear and see some shit. And gonna Someone's going to call yep. the cops. But with this, it's in a secluded area and the family just has, like, you have to fight for fucking survival, which I, it's just, it's always fun to me. And yeah, Especially I, when it's more of one intruder. Like, you got to worry about four instead of, like, the one. Like, most movies are, like, one pe one person coming in. And you don't know. The thing is, too, is you don't know that. Is when you first watch it, you don't know that it's one intruder. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. as far as... Let me rephrase it. When you're in the house. I know it's a movie. Movies got a movie. Obviously, actors know. But I'm saying, when you're in the house, 
with the way that the movie set up, they don't know if there's multiple intruders until they see multiple people. Which yeah, and the and the main character found out who it was too. He was like, "There's four of them that escaped." Because mm-hmm. the at first the that was weird because the child molester one, the big dude, mm-hmm. was super strong. By the way, he broke that dude's back. He just lifted him up like nothing. Yeah. I was like, "Damn!" I was like, "Okay, that was pretty cool." That was like the Bane backbreaker did the Batman yeah, in the comics. Yeah, Christian ba- and Christian Bale. Yeah, and Christian Bale. I was like, "Damn!" So um, so that dude went in the house. He's the one that killed, um, well, afterward. So he's seen the daughter. He's like, I'm the babysitter now, blah, blah, blah. He's trying to make small talk. And he's the child molester. So when the babysitter went up there and called her name, she didn't answer. And she was curled in bed like that. I thought she was dead. I thought he strangled her. Mm-hmm. Um, but I yeah. guess she, he was nice to her. I guess he didn't do nothing to her. I thought this, before he passed that part, though, I thought the same exact thing. Because when she first walks in her home, he's just, he's like in the hallway or whatever. And she's yeah. She questions him. He's like, "I'm your babysitter." Blah blah blah, and said he knows how to like cut. One of them, he said he knows how to like cut. You know the you fucking fold the paper up and you cut like. Yeah, the paper or not origami, the other shit. Yeah, you cut like he can make anything. It was like people, paper people, for the or way. animals, and yeah, yeah, that shit. Um, and I was expecting him to do not. I wasn't expecting him. To, I wasn't expecting her to be molested or affected like that because I think that would have been way too much that's way too much for a movie in my opinion yeah. way way too much but I thought she was going to be dead and then when it showed her I thought she was dead and then it's like nope she's not dead which is cool because it's like which threw me off too because when when you notice she wasn't dead and then when you've seen her later in the movie and she's seen him a tiny 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 part of me thought that uh he was gonna like try to protect, at least try to protect her. Oh, okay, I see that now. Okay, because she was, you know, they had the conversation. She was nice to him, and he didn't yep. her earlier in the movie. So maybe, I'll, I'll, maybe he'll protect her for whatever reason. But that's not how. Like that turn happens. on them, like don't touch her or something. Yeah, don't hurt her. Yeah, yeah, something like that. I can but, see that. That that would have worked if they did spinning around like that. But I mean. Either way, I would really, really, really... Like, I really enjoyed this movie. This was a fun movie. I think they did an excellent job with this movie. Yeah. Let's talk about the little girl. She's a little know-it-all, by the way. She is. No kid, no kid would have reacted like that. She grabbed the knife when that big dude was running in, caught his ankle to make him drop. She did. She. I was did. like, damn, look at this little bitch going. No crying. She's not scared at all, basically. It's like, I'm like, the hell is this? Maybe she didn't belong in there. She's like a... A young psychopath. You better watch out when she grows up. It's that country life. <laughs> I guess when you're born in the country, you're really scared of too much. Oh, it was crazy. But, uh, okay, there's one thing that bothered me. So, you know how they're killing off the bad guy. So, he died with the axe in his back mm-hmm. and all that stuff. Then they killed... Um, so, the preacher set the fire in the basement. I think they hit him in the head or something. They thought he was done, but he came back with a knife. Mm-hmm. They stabbed him in the shoulder and pushed him out the door. He died over that? I, wait. It took, listen, to me, it looked like the shoulder. When, you know what? That was now, so- I, Hang on. Could be wrong. They could have meant it was the... All right. Oh, we're back. We're back. So, yeah. I th- I'm not sure if he got stabbed in the shoulder or the neck. And for the first time in a long time, I don't even have the movie playing in the background because we just started talking and I got right into it. But I know they did push him down the basement steps. So yeah, I, I guess that could have happened. That would add on to it as far as wherever they stabbed him. Maybe he, if he fl- – I mean, depending on how he fell down the steps, he, just, he probably just fell and brrr, slid like that. Yeah. Like hit, his, like hit his head, broke his neck or some shit. I guess. Plus they he should at least showed it. That I wish they would have showed. I was gonna say, plus he got stabbed wherever he got stabbed. So at the very least, even if he cracked his head open and like got knocked out, he's gonna bleed yeah. out. But I see what you're saying with that. I do wish they would have yeah. showed it. I'll tell you one. Here's something I freaking actually two things, two little things. Springwood, the guy said he was from Springwood. They actually back going oh, back yeah. to the to the heavy set guy, and I thought that was very freaking cool. Hang on. Elm Street. Alexa, what yeah, that's, 
What year did Nightmare on Elm Street come out? The movie A Nightmare on Elm Street was released in 1984. Oh. Oh. So did A Nightmare on Elm Street get Springwood from this movie then, Alone in the Dark? Now, here's the question. Who made this movie? Was it part of Nightmare on Elm Street? Maybe he took it. What do you mean, Freddy? No, say the person who made this movie, say he's a director or the creator of this movie, mm -hmm. he used that, he started writing Freddy, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, no, and he took, he took the town from this movie. Wes Craven took, if Wes Craven had anything to do with it, then I could say yeah, because Wes Craven did Nightmare on Elm Street. There was no one else in there? Like a uh, partial? Maybe, maybe. But I was thinking that a Nightmare on Elm Street got the Springwood thing from... I mean, I was thinking this guy from Springwood. I wasn't sure because I, was, I forgot when Nightmare on Elm Street came out. Yeah. 84. This came out yeah, that's, too. that's the way. Either way, though, I thought that was cool. And then I thought uh, the body... The Jason mask. The Jason mask thing. Yep. Okay, which... Alexa, what year did Friday the 13th Part 3 come out? The film Friday the 13th Part 3 was released about 38 years ago on August 13th, 1982. Ooh, oh, wow. Woohoo. That's really close. I'm only asking that because Friday the 13th Part 3 came out in 82, like she said, in August. This movie came out in 82. I don't know what month. Um, What was I going to ask next? Alexa, turn on. And then, um, yeah, with the Jason mask, because the Jason mask came in part three, was introduced in part three yep. in 82. So depending on which movie came out first, but then again, they came out the same year, so he couldn't even really copy it. That's true. So that's just, that's like, interesting. That's it's cool. a different style too, though. It is a different style, but still, I'm just saying because the hockey mask. And the thing is, is when people see this movie and see Friday the 13th, they feel that this will be copied Friday the 13th as far as the hockey mask thing. It's probably just a thing because hockey could have been popular around that. That's, that's true. Because that's what I said, too. Because, like, you mentioned the, uh, the Springwood. And I was like, oh, shit, the hockey mask. That's right. They took that from Jason. But yeah. we're totally wrong. Because the shit came out before or, like, at the same time. <laughs> oh, no. The, the, spr the Springwood was because the Springwood Slasher, Freddy Krueger, because of the Springwood sw Flashes. Yeah. Flasher. The Springwood Slasher. <laughs> wow, the Flasher. That would have been different. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, still with kids. He was killing kids, I guess. Perfect. Accused, allegedly. Freddy Krueger, R. Kelly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, um, what was I saying? And then you have, which I fucking love this in Friday the 13th movie. It's one of my favorite things. And it's actually, if I was in a horror movie like a slasher, this is how I'd want to go out and mention it on another podcast. It's called Any Last Days. Go check it out. Let me guess. Can I guess it? Any, la Any Last Words podcast. Any last words? Not any last days. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Can I can I guess the scene? Yes. Is it where they threw the body through the window? Yes. <laughs> that is my fucking favorite shit. One of my favorite shits. I have no idea why, but when I seen that in this movie, I was like, "Oh my god, that is so fucking awesome!" Hell yeah! And that's one thing I. Loved. It was the main doctor. No, no, they threw the cop after they shot him with an arrow. It was the black dude. They threw. Yeah, him. it was the cop. It was the detective. Oh, yeah, 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 the black. Heck That's right. They threw him right through the window. Cool. I loved every fucking second of that. That was like one of my favorite parts of the movie just because of that. Like, I love that shit. And if I was ever in a horror movie, not like an online type shit, like where I'm doing it from my own seat, like right here, but I mean like a horror movie where I'm on set. A slasher? I think that's how I'd want to go out. Of course, I need a stunt double to get thrown through the plate glass window because I'm not doing that. And I'll be laying outside, like, you know, in the blood and shit when they show you. Let me show me. So I'm thinking like uh, either The Rock, Tay Diggs, Kevin Hart. You know, one of those guys. You know, they say we all look alike anyway. Or just get a stunt double that kind of looks like me. Whoever. It doesn't really matter. My my perfect way to go out would be like a Jason, like putting with the machete through my stomach and lifting me up over his head. Only because that would be cool to see someone lift me up <laughs> over their head. Like, oh, <laughs> holy shit, bro. You're strong. Imagine that. You're like you're a camper or something. And used to like a cop, and you've seen that. You're like, okay, he's stronger than I thought. We're out. <laughs> I fucking quit. That's one handed. <laughs> one handed, and the, and the fucking uh, machete didn't snap. That's that's funny that you get. How did you get that? <laughs> How did you throw the window? Like, you just knew that was my. You know, you know because uh, I like those scenes too. 
Um, and it was the most like I don't know, like I know your like your favorite franchise is uh, Friday Thirteen. Mm-hmm. So I had to I had to pick like a dramatic like a dramatic scene, and that's the one that popped in my head. So I was like, I bet it's that. You know what it is about those two, man? It's like the funniest fucking kills are like the funniest. Like he pulls a chick out the window, pulls it through the window, and drops her on on a car. Yep. <laughs> and then he throws dead bodies through windows, and it's, yep. like that's just one of those scenes that just hit you. It's so powerful, and it's it happens in multiple Friday the Thirteenth movies. That's another thing I love about it. But, I like how like most of the cabins are made out of logs, and mm-hmm. somehow he breaks right through the walls. He's diesel. Like, yo, you're breaking right through tree trunks, man. I don't, I don't know how that's happening, but sure, okay. I don't want to deal with that shit. No. Nah. But those, those, like I said, those were a few things I really loved about this movie, and like... It was a good movie. I like the concept. Like, I, um, like the Byron dude, like, if it's if the same guy who plays Phantasm, he has like a creepy look to him anyways. Mm-hmm. His smile and everything, his laugh, you know, it's just yeah. that, that face. It's like a dead face. Like, I don't know. It was like, like a crazy, creepy face. Like that was like a good face for the yeah. movie. Um. Then the other guy, the like the main leader, he was more like a soldier to me, just delusional. He wasn't like creepy. Mm-hmm. He was just like so out of his head, but he was like taking charge. Like he was like a real, like a colonel in the army. Yeah, yeah. I, but I think that Byron doing was like the the creepiest one out of them. The the preacher that sets shit on fire. Your sin, so he burns chill, uh, like uh, churches and shit. That's a man. It, that was not. So, and back real quick though, back to the big dude. You said how strong he was. He got hit in the back with a fucking what was it, like a butcher knife? No, it was an axe. It was a hatchet. No, I thought it was a big ass. Oh like, wait a minute. Oh yeah, you're right. It was a it was a chopping knife. Yeah, he got that hit was a big chopping knife. With a big chopping knife. It wasn't like the regular ones you have downstairs. It was yeah. like a fucking like a meat cleaver type shit. Yeah, that's it, why I thought it was like a hatchet. Hit him in the back, and he goes down. They, then what do they do? They take the uh, extinguisher and they hit it deeper, or someone? No, the, it? I don't know. No, remember when he was trying to get up and he has that baseball bat? And one guy. Oh, someone hit it with the baseball bat. That's right. the bat starts yelling, "Bomb!" I thought that was so fucking cool. And I even liked how. Just because the guy was strong, kind of. Well, he was strong. How he died, like in slow motion, where it hits him in the back and kind of like looks back as he's trying to do more things. And then you have the typical '80s body drop sound, like. Yeah. Well, 80s. he looked at the. I think he looked at the little girl. It's like he was like looking at her, like saying sorry. Because she looked at him. Yeah. As he was falling, which makes yep. you, he was saying sorry. Did he do something to harm her? I hope not. But I'm just saying it's no. He, I guess I, he didn't say it. I'm saying with his eyes, like he, they got eye contact. Is like he felt oh, sorry. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, because he did look, and she like it showed him and it showed her when he was dying. Like her eyes, yeah, big. Yeah. But um, overall, man, again, I I have minimal complaints about this movie. Uh, fuck. No, I like it. I like the whole, the whole concept, like the the blackout, they escape. It was Go it was get new clothes, got some weapons. Yeah. I, it was a I, good concept. It was a really good concept. I really enjoyed it and it I feel like it worked for like what they were trying to do with the movie that I feel with this movie they really accomplished it. And I'm gonna say it right now, they it has a surf thirty approval. And if we were to jump into ratings right now as far as Hold um, on, let's get to the main guy though. Okay. They ended up talking him out. Because they showed the TV, the doctor that he thought he was dead was on TV. So he snapped back into reality, and he just leaves. He goes to a club. He smashes that one dude's head against the wall because they try to charge him. Then the one girl, I guess she was one of the patients too missing, mm-hmm. but like normal crazy. And they were talking to her, and he's like pointing the gun to her, and she was like ah oh, laughing, and it just ended. It ended like that dude in the club or something. There is. And Alone in the Dark Part Two, I have. No I thought I thought it was the uh, Kevin Bacon one, or uh, is it Kevin Bacon? No, who is it? Is it Kevin Bacon or is it Christian Slater? I'm not even sure. It was the 2005 and 2008 version, I think. I thought they had an older one, Alone in the Dark Two, that was older. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I thought I've seen three of them. I seen this, in the 2005, and maybe a 2008, or is it 2003 and 2005? I don't know. I forgot. Yeah, me too. 
I didn't know it was part two of this one. No, I'm just I'm just guessing. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Two thousand and eight, so it's probably a sequel of two of uh, two thousand five. Yeah. But no, this one's good. Like, oh, yeah. I I say I say it don't need a part two because they kill they basically killed off all the killers except for the main one. True. Where I I I don't even think he was like the best one. Like I said, I like the preacher one, the Byron dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or yeah. even the friggin' uh the pedophile. I just like his like strength and everything. I liked how yeah. he just no, I agree. manhandled people. I agree. like the baby Sarah. He just grabs her by the neck, lifts her up in the air. Yep, just choking that, the shit out of her. <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah, that strength is nuts. And like what you're saying though, they they don't need a sequel for this movie. I don't think no. there's a sequel for this. It's probably for the for the newer one. Yeah. But um, what I was gonna say is like this movie right here. I'm not gonna say I wouldn't watch it because I know I would. And not that movies do need remakes, so to speak. This one doesn't need a remake. Like it's no. one of those movies where it's just. I'm not gonna say it's perfect, but it's almost perfect the way it is. And as you guys can hear, how I'm talking about this movie with my fucking Batman muscle shirt on. I don't have the cape on. The cape. I don't know where the cape is. But uh, it's a yellow cape, by the way, in case you're interested. I fight crime at night. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm I'm not Batman though. This is my attire. I'm I'm somebody completely different. This is just, you know, I wouldn't have you my dress, attire on. Okay, you, you dress up you're a different superhero, but you dress up as Batman to frame Batman. I'm a fan of Batman though. He's like one of my favorites. No. Yeah, team. me too. Me too. But uh You wanna know why I like uh, let's go with this real quick. Yeah. He was my favorite. This is my opinion only. He was the only superhero that didn't have a superpower. Like overrated Superman, mm-hmm. that is like indestructible. Oh my god! You know, Batman was just his money, gadgets, and his brains. Like, yeah, that's it. He knew he knew martial arts and shit. He just beat the shit out of people. Yeah, that. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. That's probably my main reason for liking him. Was just he just seemed so cool. I thought his gadgets were cool. He could fight. Yeah. He just yeah. And you can't beat the animated series. No. Best series, hands down. Best Batman. Like, that series has my, like, every character that was played in that series is my favorite of that character. Yeah. From, that's, the Mark, that's the Mark Hamill Joker? Yep. From live yeah. action to, you know, any other any other cartoons that they've done that didn't include those characters, you know what I mean? Those characters, those voice actors. I thought that was, like, the best hands freaking down. It was amazing. Yep. And with this movie... Um, as you know, we do negative 10 to positive 10 now. Yep. I was trying to think of something fun or funny with this movie. Um, what do you got first, James? Meat cleavers to the back? Uh, okay, we'll do meat cleavers to the back. All right. Um, I think I'm, or fake Jason masks. Full face full Jason face, mask. Full face Jason mask. All right. Um, yeah, you know, I'm going to feel like a, uh, like a, Past few we did, I'm feel like a repeater, but I think I'm gonna give this a seven. Okay, okay. Would you rewatch it? I think I could. Yeah, I would watch this. Okay, my next question with that is, how how soon? I mean, I know we do the podcast. Oh, okay. Like okay. how how soon? Because like, yeah, just like you know how I say like how soon I'd watch it. Like, is this something you would rewatch within the next, let's say, three months? Hmm. No. I think that's too soon. Too soon? Yeah. You know what? I think I'm going to go by that. I think that's where you get an eight. Like when you cross, when I cross the seven threshold, is like if I will watch the movie within the next soon, three. within the next three months or so. That's because okay. that's going to be hard. Because like seven right now is like my top score I gave to anything. Mm-hmm. Um, because when I hit like eight, nine, and ten, like ten is like cream mm-hmm. of the cop. I love it. You know. Um, yeah. but I'm, eight is like close. It's like hard. It's like you want to, but then you're like, mm, nah. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. So, yeah, so I think I'm gonna give a seven again. This might be three podcasts in a row. I give it score seven. So that's a good streak on the movies we've been watching. I respect it, man. And I'm gonna give it an eight. And I just like as far as rewatching it, would I rewatch it in the next three months? That's tough. 
just because, I mean, minus the whole podcast of minus me having time to watch, you know, I mean, I mean, I do have time to watch it again. Uh, what month are we in? We're in July, right? August, September, October. Maybe. I'll say maybe because it might be one of those things where it's like I'm doing, say I do like 31 days of horror. This might be like day number one. You know what I mean? So I'll say maybe. I'm okay. Afraid, no. Just because I don't know. what I'll, You know, for scratch, I'll, I'll just say yeah. It doesn't mean I'm going to. What I, yes, am I going to? I have no clue. I'll say that. This does have real rewatchability for me but it's one of those movies it still doesn't have that rewatchability to like a, um a friday the 13th for me no or even a that's Halloween. like nostal- that's nostalgia at the same time though no. it well i mean it, it is but this movie did come from that same era it's just more nostalgic for me and more personable to me because i seen those movies growing up i didn't see this movie growing up but i do get what you mean by that and then two it, it's just like it's cool, but like it's a really good movie. It's a really cool movie, but just with the craziness, the goriness of Jason, I love listening to that story. Every single time I hear that story, no matter how many times I hear it, whether it be you know from the original series, a fan made film, or whatever the case is, or a remake, I love hearing that legend of Jason. I love that story, and like from talking about his mother to you know when somebody came by talking about what happened with his mom and Jason and all. I just think it's an awesome story, and uh. With that being said, like this movie definitely, like I said earlier, has the Sir 32 approval. It can't make any of my lists. It would have made my top 10 list, but I've already seen this movie before. I don't, I think it was earlier this year, so I can't add this to the list. I actually have to go and see what's on that list because I really don't freaking remember. And I got to start like, uh, I'll say that after the show. No, you know what? I got to start when I'm like, when me and whoever's done recording, hit stop. And then hit record again and say, like, this movie is making my top 10 list. Just so I remember. So I'm going to edit it. I can put that last clip onto it, you know, to that one freaking thing. But, again, this movie would make it if I hadn't already watched it. So, but, I mean, I can't wait to see what makes it. And, again, the rule is, for me, me and you went over this plenty of times, and you helped me out with it as far as should I do just, I mean, it's, a, it's first time watched by me this year. That's one. Two is actually that's it. It can be. It has to be first time watched by me this year. Obviously by me this year. It doesn't matter what year it came out. Just my first time seeing it this year in 2020. And then the other thing was um. What the hell? Oh, no sequels, no remakes, mm-hmm. none of that. Unless it's like like the say if I just seen the thing from eighty from the eighties. That's different because I know that's not the original. I know the original's in the '50s, so if it's a movie that can't, if it's a movie that's from like the '80s, I'm gonna assume it's original. But it's like from like 20, you know, it's like 2020 or whatever. You know what I mean? Like anything after the '80s, '90s type of shit, where you know it, where you know it has a chance of being remade, like a big chance. Then I, I'm not gonna throw it on there. But anyway, yes. Again, this movie was fucking awesome. I gave it an eight out of all those other numbers. And uh, rewatchability, yes. Would I recommend this movie? I highly recommend this movie. I think you should go ahead and watch it. And if you've seen it, let, me, let us know in the comments what you think about this movie. Um, and that's pretty much all I got. Like, I don't know if you have any closing comments or anything, James, no. but I'm good. I'm good, too. Good movie. Give it a shot. You'll enjoy it. You will. Well, with that being said... I will say I have a Facebook group and a Facebook page. The Facebook group is for anybody and everybody to share anything and everything horror related, including your own projects, your own YouTube videos. As long as it's horror related, it's cool. That's one. And two, I'm not sharing the podcast in the group anymore. I might change that later on down the road, but right now I'm focusing on sharing that in the page. So anything podcast related will be on the page. Now, I will be posting in the group stuff. So I'll still be posting memes. And, like, when I do my random YouTube videos, I will post those in the group. But the podcast will be strictly on the podcast page. The random videos will be in both. And, um, yeah, just because I need – the page needs to get a lot more love because, again, anything about – any updates I have or, like, we're going to be at a con and all that stuff will be strictly on the page. And I might share it over into the group, like, later on. I don't know. But, yeah, so definitely go in the group. Like, the, join the group. Like the page, both Horror Research 30 on Facebook, so just enjoy both of those. 
Also, Horror Research 30 on YouTube, where you can listen to or watch the podcast. Every single episode you can hear on uh, that I put out, you put out, you can listen to on YouTube or any other streaming platform such as Spotify, Podbean, iTunes, Google Play, anything else. For the most part, you should be able to hear me on there. And then with YouTube, you can just watch all my videos that I put out. Um, Twitch, I haven't been on in a while, but I, I keep saying I'm going to get on again soon. I'm not sure when, but anyways, it will be soon. Anyways, it's uh, horror underscore with underscore sir underscore under, horror underscore with underscore sir underscore 30. And uh, Google me or Gmail horror with sir dot sturdy at gmail.com. Again, that's horror with sir dot sturdy at gmail.com. And that'll pretty much just, you'll just be able to see my stuff. Like you'll be able to, or no, I'm sorry. You'll be able to email me obviously. And Hey, sir sturdy. I would love to be on your show. Cool. Shoot me an email. Let me know who you are. Let me know what you want to discuss. And we'll go from there. If you want to do a movie, if you want to do a movie review and we're still working on this 50 list, when you hit me up, I'm going to send you the list and I'll let you know what movies, like I can mark off what movies you've already done. If the list is done, just let me know what you want to review or if maybe I'll have another list compiled by then. I have no idea yet, but there's going to be some fun stuff coming up. Got a lot of cool things coming up, some cool interviews coming up that you guys should be listening to. I drop the show every Tuesday and Thursday now for your visual and audio pleasure. I mean that in an entertainment way, not in a weird way. But yeah, man, just... Please keep listening to the show. Keep watching the show. Keep supporting the show. Hopefully the show keeps putting smiles on all your faces and laughs and just makes you relax and forget about all the bullshit going on in the world. We can just get a nice getaway. Listen to me and whoever else, me and James or me by myself if I'm doing a video or me and whoever I have on here just having a great horror conversation and making you guys entertained. That's what I'm here for. Entertainment, putting smiles on faces, hopefully changing some lives, hopefully saving some lives just from listening to this and like, you know what? I don't want to give up. I know it got a little dark for a second, but I'm just saying, like, you know, I want to inspire people and you know, make people happy. With that being said, as always, and I mean this, I'll see you in your nightmares. And I'll be wearing this Batman shirt, too.